Hello Gemini, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking, feeling about you, and what are their intentions for the near future, uh, their intentions towards you or this connection. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump in. For Gemini Spirit, what messages do you have? Tell me about the connection between Gemini and this other person. Of course, this reading will be for those of you who are in some sort of a connection with someone already. For Gemini. What is the energy surrounding Gemini in love? Whoa. Okay, I got these two. Oh, three. Okay, so I got paralyzing fear. Anxiety, fear, paralysis. Fear is holding you back. Got hidden motives, deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. And then I got secret admirer, which we, um, Geminis have gotten this in a recent bonus love reading. Intrigue, watchful attraction. You've caught someone's eye. So right away I'm thinking there's someone that is hiding their feelings for you due to fear. But we'll see. We'll see how you are feeling about each other in a second here. Hmm... I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use a different deck. So a deck for you and a deck for them. So I think for you, I'm going to use this deck. This is the Terror of the Golden Wheel. Tell me about Gemini's energy spirit in this connection. How is Gemini feeling about this other person? Of course, you can flip this once I lay down the cards. You'll know um, which side you're on, I guess. So you can flip it if it resonates more for you because the energy can be flipped for Gemini spirit. What are Gemini's energies in this connection? How is Gemini thinking or feeling about this other person? How is Gemini thinking or feeling about this other person? Okay, Six of Wands, Reverse. How's Gemini feeling about this other person? Five of Cups, okay. It has not gone well. Whatever has happened with this person, there's regrets, disappointment, um, it's way too many. A lack of success. What is going on? Okay, I'll take it. What's this? Four of Wands, Reverse, okay. So, it hasn't gone well. When you think about this connection, there's disappointment, regrets, like I said. And I feel like there's also almost a feeling of like giving up, like you should give up. I have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody from the past, maybe a past partner, uh, a past life, uh, I can't talk, a past life relationship for some of you, um, a soulmate energy, I feel like this is how you view this other person, but it has not been successful for some reason, this connection. Let me take this out so I can put down your person's energies and then get an oracle card for both of you. So let's look at your person. This is um, the Lightseer's Tarot that I'm using here. Tell me more about this other person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? So now I'm wondering who's the one that is hiding their true motives here or is paralyzed by fear? Who's watching who? <laughs> For Gemini, what is this other person's energies? What is this other person's energies towards Gemini? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? Death, Scorpio energy. The hangman. Interesting. What are their thoughts or okay, that's way too many. What are their thoughts or feelings when it comes to Gemini? Five of Wands reverse. 
I feel like either they um, caused an ending between you or they're going through an ending in their own life, a change, a transformation in their own life. They're seeing something differently here with the hangman. Maybe they've gotten clarity about your connection or are able to see things differently now. I feel like with the Five of Wands reverse, they, they're thinking of no longer fighting, no longer having issues with you, maybe overcoming an argument. Maybe this is reconciliation. We'll clarify more to see. But with the hangman, I'm getting, you know, this is someone that's just thinking. Possibly this ending that they're going through, you know, maybe they're concerned with this or or uh, their energy right now is in this death energy. Now, I'll, I'm going to have to see if they're the ones that ended things in the past. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Wands reverse and the Six of Wands reverse. So again, with the Six of Wands reverse, there's a lack of success here, a lack of recognition possibly. Let's get an, an, uh, an oracle card here. I'm going to use this animal spirit oracle. Get some more insight. Spirit, give me some more insight into Gemini and this other person's energy. Tell me more about Gemini. Tell me more about Gemini. Ah. Tell me more about Gemini's person. Again, you can flip this um, if you'd like, but just to avoid confusion, Gemini's here for me and your person's on the other side. Tell me about Gemini's person. Ah, uh, okay. So, <laughs> um, Firefly, this is um, a card about having like a sudden burst of inspiration um a lot of energy but also feeling like you need to pounce because otherwise this light is going to burn or burn out um i feel like on your end here time is important um i think almost is is almost like you're wondering if this is over you know like is this already over should this be over um, do we even have time to make this work anymore or something like that along those lines? The stingray is someone that needs a spine. They're, they could be fearful. So I feel like your person might be the one that's fearful here. They need a spine and I have the cheetah at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like they need some sort of courage here to make a move of some sort to go after something. So let's clarify. Let's get some more information for both of you here. Let me clarify for Gemini. Let's start with this Seven of Wands reverse because I feel like this is you almost wondering if you should give up or perhaps if you're fighting for something that is over already, something like that. Tell me about this Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? The star reverse. Yes, it's like it, to you, this could feel like a hopeless situation. Um, maybe there's too much healing that needs to take place, too much, you know, you need faith, and I don't think you have it right now. Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah, one more, please. The lovers reverse. Well, there you are, Gemini. And the lovers reverse. Um,. So I think there's definitely a separation here. I think this happened already. I have the world reversed at the bottom of the deck. Maybe there wasn't any closure. It's almost like you doubt that this could be healed, that this could be fixed, that this could happen again, like I've been saying. Um, not, I'm not sure why, there could be many reasons for that. I mean, maybe all of you have different reasons, but this is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Why the Six of Wands reverse? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Because there's been uh, possibly either silence or a distance between you. Maybe one of you withdrew with the Hermit here. Tell 
tell me more. And since, you know, someone's gone, is what I feel, um, there wasn't a, uh, success in this connection, or maybe success, for this connection to be successful, it would take a lot. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Get one more. I feel like you're quite, yeah. I feel like you're holding back. Either you're holding back or the other person is holding back. And I feel like it's um with silence. You know, this is like a secret admirer, hidden motives. You're not out in the open about this. And I feel like both of you are in the same boat here with the Hermit and the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Cups. There's regret or disappointment here. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. Why the Five of Cups spirit? Ten of Swords reverse, okay. <laughs> there was definitely an ending here. Um, there's regrets about this ending. Whatever happened, there's regrets, disappointment here. I feel like you're kind of over it though. Like maybe you wanna move forward, you wanna move past this. Maybe you wanna ask for forgiveness. Or you're just ready to move past this. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Can I get one more, please? I feel like you missed them. You missed this person. Temperance Reverse. Sagittarius Energy. You know, there's something here. It, it, it doesn't feel right is what I'm picking up. Whatever happened in the past, it doesn't feel right to you. Like, maybe it shouldn't have happened that way. Or... Maybe um, it didn't end how it should have, or, you know, there's no closure. There's an imbalance here. Um, I'm also picking up, like, a frustration and impatience, you know? Like, maybe you want something to happen, but it just hasn't happened yet. Maybe, it, maybe this is taking too long, and you're afraid that this will never happen, or that maybe your time is running out here. Seven of Cups reversed at the bottom. Maybe you made the wrong choice, or perhaps this other person made the wrong choice with the Seven of Cups reversed. I have the Moon after that, Pisces energy. There's that like secret hidden energy, you know, something that's maybe was an illusion for one of you or both of you. It's almost like you think back on this connection and it could have gone very differently. And I don't think that that lets you, like it doesn't sit right with you. Tell me if that resonates for you down in the comments. So let's see, give me some clarity on this person that Gemini is dealing with. Let's clarify. For Gemini, please. Why the Five of Wands reverse? Why is the Five of Wands reverse? My wow, the lovers. There you are, Gemini. Why the Five of Wands reverse? Ah, Two of Cups reversed. So I feel like you're kind of thinking of the situation in a similar way. Um, I feel like your person the lovers is upright for them but the two of cups is reversed the lovers is reversed for you let me get a little bit more clarity tell me about this two of cups reverse what's this about i want to know if this is a separation with you or separation somewhere else? Something about the Two of Cups reverse, please, Spirit. Aha, Seven of Cups. 
So I feel like, and then I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Yes, your person is making a choice here. They want an opportunity, and I feel like this is related to you. They could have had something else, someone else, with the Two of Cups reverse. I feel like that might be over, because they're thinking of a different choice. And it's a choice that leads to a new opportunity, or is a choice regarding a new opportunity here. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Move this over. Why is death here, spirit? Page of Swords. Oops. Let me put that back. Communication, research, curiosity. This is this person could be watching you. Tell me more about death. more about death please queen of pentacles yes i feel like they see you as a queen of pentacles energy someone that really has a lot going on for them here i have the six of pentacles reverse so maybe this person is not on the same level as you Possibly because they're ending a situation in their life. Um, or they're going through some sort of change or transition in their personal life. It's almost like whatever's going on here. Whether this is like a change in their own life. Which that's what I'm feeling for most of you. For others of you, this person's thinking about the ending that they caused. Whichever one that... Whichever reason or whichever scenario fits, I guess I should say. It's still the same situation here. You know, they're, they're watching you, admiring you, while they're thinking about this other thing. Whoa, and look at this. Six of Cups just wanted to fly out there. Yeah, this is someone from your past, Gemini. So let's see, why the hangman? Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Six of Pentacles reverse. And it's almost like they wonder if they can give you something here. If um, if they can give you what you deserve, possibly, or if they can, if the feelings are mutual, if the you know intention is the same. Are, are you on the same page? I'm also picking up instability, imbalance. Tell me more about the hangman. Ah, Page of Pentacles reverse, exactly. This is about what they can give you. They can't give you something right now. It could be financial, it could be an offer, and this is something is small. Even though the intention is the Ace of Pentacles, it's almost like they're wondering, how can I get that Ace of Pentacles to give to Gemini? Because right now, I don't have anything to give them. Bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor and then the Knight of Cups. Wow. So it's almost like this is someone that wants to take charge of the situation, express how they feel, apologize, um, bring something back into control, um, be an Emperor for you. I feel like they feel like they need to be an Emperor in order to match this Queen of Pentacles energy. Could we dealing with an Aries? It's not have to be. So let's see, what would they tell you if they could? I'm using my Secret Moon oracle deck and then we'll jump into where is all of this headed what would they tell gemini if they could sir what would this person tell gemini what are they secretly thinking or feeling towards gemini what are they secretly thinking or feeling and this definitely fits here because i feel like they're not communicating okay i made a mistake can i get one more what are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? I'm taking a risk. Bottom of the deck, I need more time. 
So they're taking some sort of risk and that's why they need courage. That's why the stingray is here. I don't think they've taken the risk yet or I think the risk is very risky <laughs> in the sense that like it's gonna take a lot for this person to do that, to do what they possibly need to get done here. I don't know what that's about, but let's see, where's all of this headed? I don't think it really matters, you know? Whatever the risk is, it requires courage. It requires a spine. It's up to them to jump into that Aries energy and make this happen. The risk, I feel, is making this choice to approach you. Because right now I feel like they're watching you. Maybe they could even be texting you or, or sending you a message with the Page of Swords. Where is all of this headed in the near future? So I'm going to pick a couple cards here for um, the potential outcome for the near future. Alright, Spirit, where is all of this headed? In the near future the three of wands okay well there's that waiting energy waiting you know and this is the way i feel you've been doing gemini i feel like you've been waiting maybe this person's waiting you know because they need more time to get something done it's like they're waiting for the right time possibly where is all of this headed okay hold on wow we got the tower Something shocking, surprising, and then we have the Queen of Wands reversed. So there's going to be a tower moment here. That's going to affect this connection. What's at the bottom of the deck? Nine of Wands and the Lovers again. So with the Nine of Wands, this has been a long time coming. Queen of Wands reversed with this Nine of Wands. I feel like this is uh, some sort of difficult situation here or a difficult person. But there's going to be a tower moment in this connection. Something unexpected. An unexpected development or a shocking event. Something that takes you by surprise. Um... And it's, it's funny because I feel like you're, you're waiting for something to happen, but I don't think you were waiting for this. And this person's involved, this Queen of Wands reverse is involved in some way. I don't know, this could also be the energy that your person is taking, almost like an effort energy, or perhaps they, they maybe they didn't think about something before jumping in, or perhaps they're dealing with someone that is, you know, they, they crave attention, have bad tempers, don't think about the consequences of their action. Don't care how they affect others. It's the Queen of Wands reversed. 